Uh, how's it, how's it, everybody? Welcome back into the Paper Plane Inn. I'm so good. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. How's it, how's it, everybody? Welcome back into the Paper Plane Inn. I'm Akuta Nui, and thank you guys for waiting for me to come back live as we're... <sighs> I know I sound a little bit off just now, but let's just say I'm feeling chilly. <sighs> Wait, what's the temperature today? It can't be that bad. It's 67. What the f- Okay, you're not- that, That's not supposed to be, um... Maybe it's just me then. Ugh, I think I may have to turn on the heater. Okay. Uh, but how is everyone today? Do you guys actually have a good day today? Did you guys actually ate well and rest well? If not, then I hope that today's stream will actually be on the relaxing end for you. Especially since it's gonna be a commission stream where we're actually gonna be doing some art. Did the storm hit that bad? Well, it was raining really badly last night, and to a point that um, to a point that uh, to the point that I did hear some rumbling and thunder uh, thunders outside. Yeah, yeah. Um, it made things a little bit antsy for me when it comes to doing some commission work, if you will, or artwork in general. Mm. I just woke up and I saw the notification. That's great. That's great. Well, I'm rewatching the stream, uh, the last third stream, and making new clips. Oh, good, good. I'm actually happy to see that. Huh. Oh, okay. So today we're actually gonna get ourselves into the uh, into doing some art and relax, and hopefully we could actually um. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Maybe um, the, if I just close the door, the heat of the heater would actually spread towards the small enclosure and everything should be good. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, it should be good. All right, so without further ado, how about we actually go into the podium, shall we? We got, oh. Okay, so, okay. There's a lot to fix up here. Okay. So let me just go ahead and um, fix this up real fast and loose, guys, because yesterday I managed to fix up my screen so it would be a little bit bigger. But um, I guess it, you'll, you'll only go that big, I guess. Yeah, you'll only go that, you, you only go as that much. Okay. Well, you can't. Well, you can't re exactly win 100%, so might as well make do with what I got. Verbal. <sighs> Sometimes I forget how a lot, um, crazy things happened during that stream yesterday. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and, um, I think this should be just fine when it comes for to today's stream. This should be just fine. I hope. Something. Maybe. Anyways, um, why don't we actually go ahead and bring out our order when it comes to class president's order, which is making her reference sheet. And I actually made the time to actually fix up uh, my, the, uh, my client's order. Now, I know um, the last time I've done this, she looks a lot different, but the client has actually t um, got back to me and what she actually wants, and I managed to find time to actually go ahead and fix that. Okay, I mean, it's the client's wants, and I intend to actually deliver where, uh, at the best of my capabilities. Um, so I am going to make use of you to give me my tavern beats. A number 25? <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Which one's my go-to today? You'll do. I wish I could um, get myself a, a playlist where it doesn't give me too much headaches for copyright. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Golan. Thank you, Golan, for switching. The reactions were funny when people turned into followers, and the downside that, uh, on there that just makes you freak out. Well, can you honestly blame me? Because, um, a lot of shit, wait, um, there's been some 
Uh, there was a lot to unpack there when it comes to yesterday's stream, you know? Okay, without further ado, we're gonna, uh... Oh, right, I was, um, looking at this when it comes to my, um, characters. Maybe I should definitely find time to make a full compile of drawing the rest of my d, &D party. Now! Now, when it comes to doing the reference sheet, we have finally reached the point where we gotta do, um, the important bits. Such as, uh, the next two poses, if you will. And that one would be making the, um, the front and back pose of our, uh, of our commissions. Now, let's go ahead and go and do that. And also putting my OBS into my other screen. So I don't have to actually have to, um, worry about what's to basically to come. Yeah. Let's see. But I hope that you guys actually have a good day today. And let's see. Ink face front. Also, just um, I also took the time to actually implement a new um, command when it comes to Nightbot. And let me go see if this actually works. Yes, yes, it actually does. Okay, so t just by typing down Patreon, you can actually um open up my it, you can actually open up my commands for pa it, it can actually open up to ca my commands and it'll direct you to the link to my Patreon, which this stream is actually made possible through um uh, through through you, my followers, and those who actually help me out when it comes to my Patreon. So yeah. It's gonna take me a while to open up commissions again, but those who actually um followed me when it comes to Patreon, especially those who um, followed me through the first and sec uh, the second and third tiers, they are those who, those are the people who actually um have the extra benefits and getting um commission uh, uh, getting commission discounts whenever I actually open up a new commission slots. So yeah. Much love. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's just go ahead and make the eyes right there. I just hope that um, I'm able to make some time when it comes to doing the um, the other big commissions, that, the, the other big things that are coming into the horizon before the end of the month. Because I got to do something very important because as per tradition at this point, um, I have a... a I am gonna be I'm, I am gonna be hosting the third date me OC auction which is gonna be featuring new girls for those who actually want to um, give their crack at it and, and try their hand on chance on bidding you're so good you're so good at what you do Miko the YouTube Bobs show the YouTube VODs show that oh thank you thank you you're referring to the one uh, 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 you're referring to my um, VOD archive channel because those are the place. Those are the. Those are the. That channel is is um, that channel is made possible because Twitch has this thing where um, the vods will only last for uh, for a certain amount of days before they are actually deleted into the void forever. And boy, do I actually hate that system. I mean, I am fortunate enough that I was able to use my Amazon to actually get my VODs a little bit sh little bit longer. Had I not do that, they would actually been deleted for um, when they reach 14 days. Mine lasted about, about 60 days. I think I am fortunate enough to actually get that before they Twitch has changed that system. I think. I don't know if they um, if they had changed that for good. Also, hello, a Afton. Hello. How is your evening? It's it's fine. I'm doing fine. 
I hate it too when I stream because I wish they stay around. I know, especially when it comes to certain people's VODs that you want to go back to, but you know, Twitch is um, a, autom a automatic um, wipe system when it comes to older VODs. I don't want to lose my, uh, I don't want to lose those precious VODs, so, especially even if they're bad, even if they're kind of like um, not so interesting VODs. I want to archive them as best as I could, so it's why I made the archive channel in the first place. So that way, um, so that way my precious VODs will not, would, would always have a place to stay. And even if from good or bad, from funny to not so much, yeah. Ink body front. Okay. So let's see. I had so many card opening streams that could have stayed. Well, then it got recommended to me that was um, and that was um, and that was history. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I, <laughs> I'm actually glad that actually happened. What the? Oh, the layer has not, the, the ruler is not, mm. Okay, there you go. In fact, I just can't help but wonder, um, uh, chat, how did you guys, um, actually discover me anyway? <laughs> like... I mean, um, do you discover me through, um, Twitch? Do you discover me through Twitter? Um, do you also discover me through, when you, well, when you look at to, to your, your, to your other VTubers that you've, um, been following for a while? I don't know. Well, hmm. Do you want me to, like, explain, like, our story, or no? Uh, I mean, you feel free to give it a shot. And just... Yeah, to, um... Hold on a second. Just Nario, thank you for uh, uh, and thank you for the welcome to the paper plane in um through inverted shadow. Yep. Okay. I discovered you from Shads, I think. Well, <laughs> we are uh, Shads is my BFF and I'm actually oh f oh god oh goodness crap. Okay, I'll fix this. Okay, now you can speak after. I'm sorry. Oh, that's perfectly okay. Um, I met Mickey through Melissa's server, um, back in, like, late 2022. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it was, like, um, I was invited along for a Christmas project that was meant to be a surprise for, for, for Melissa, where some of the people from that server were gonna do, like, a Christmas project, which is how I met Mickey. Which, uh, through some talking and encountering that you do some streaming as well, too. And ever since then, we've been kind of friends ever since. Pretty much, yep. I discovered you through the YouTube homepage. Aww, okay. I guess my, um, VOD archives, uh, I guess my VOD archive channel really has a way of being shown around through the algorithm. You know... That thing is very fickle, but at the same time, I'm glad it actually did reach to somebody. But you know, I'm gonna- f I will say this, though, I do miss the old era when it comes to, um... I really do miss the old era of YouTube. Like, around the 2000, around mid-2010, um, early to mid-2010s YouTube. That's, that's kind of like a good, um, period of time where it's like the Wild West of YouTube at the day. The Golden Age. Eh, I don't know if that's considered as a Golden Age of YouTube. I may be, hmm. I, I may be wrong though, but I considered it as the Wild, um, the Wild West period of YouTube. Like, I, I kind of considered that because of, like, back then, that's when, like, it, like, if I say it right now, it's a little bit intriguing. Um, it was due to the fact that a lot of animations were like that was, that was like the pre like the prelude age of finding animation and animation memes. Where before most of them now be, have become VTubers. Then there's also, of course, 
the abundance of Minecraft YouTubers which have either now, which most of them have now either have retired or have something going along with, along lines with them. I... And mostly like, and of course, you not forget the indie game era which is still going on, like, nice and fresh still. You know, I wouldn't actually mind playing indie games, uh, uh indie games, uh, of that era into my stream, ch into my streams. In fact, I actually have been considering on, um, well, playing the TT, playing the RPG um, games from that era to for the for the sake of why not. Then I also have a um, a particular bone to pick with one game I never got to finish. Well, that make big? that several games I want to finish. I never got to uh, make that few games I never got to finish. Name two. The Crooked Man and Corpse Party. Hmm. Well, Corpse Party, I was able to finish through the PSP, through the PSP, through the computer, not so much. But um, I'd rather save Corpse Party and Crooked Man as a collab series, if you will. Um. But, but but yeah, I really do. But but um, but I think the one that really does need to have the um, a good facelift is the it is me playing the Crooked Man game, which is um, which I did play that when I was still with my ex at the time, and yes, we did have fun, but we never got to finish it, and um, my ex is actually not the best um did not really have a heart of gold as we speak. I mean, he's an oh, asshole. Assist. He's an asshole. X number two. X, um, well, to be f X number two? Um, that was the Australian one. Yes. I mean, uh, if anything, um, if anything, um, Ruby is considered my former partner. Where my, um, where my second partner is basically my ex. There's a fine line difference. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hmm. Like, I don't want to sound quite derogatory on that terminology. Fair enough. But I mean, that's my way of actually on how I differentiate the two. Because at least with, um, Runia, I was able to have a, I was able to keep a long lasting friendship. Even after, um, e even after we stopped uh, be, uh, being partners. Yeah. The, the other one, though, not so much. As, but, uh, but I am, but it did lead me to Steve, and I am much happier um, a afterwards. Yeah. Let's see. Um, it does. Uh, it does. It does. YouTube knows I like long streams to listen to. Aw, that's good. I will say this: It's gonna take a while until the um, the Cult of the Lamb playlist um, video will be. Um, why can't you be partnered yet already? Oh, <sighs> you know, I asked myself this question too, Craft um, um, Craft X, because um, okay, I can't believe I had a hard time saying that, but I, f I actually I, I had a, uh, anyways. <clears throat> Well, I asked myself that question too. It's just that um, the algorithm is is not very um, the algorithm is not very favorable to me. Add to the fact that um, add it, add it to the fact that um, I'm not really as well versed compared to the other v um, uh, uh, compared to the other VTubers who were lucky. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I I would actually love to be partnered. I would actually really do love to be partnered. But I'm not fortunate. Maybe someday it will come to me. It's just but till then, uh, but till then I'm happy with uh, what I got, I guess. Uh, no, I am happy with what I got. I'm just uh, I I just needed to uh, I just need to be uh I'm just fortunate enough that I was able uh, that um for being a small VTuber, I'm able to at least talk to my community and actually, um, and, and actually get to, you know, be one-on-one -on -one and such. 
But if I really push myself way too hard in order to get myself into that, um, into that, uh, but if I push myself way too hard in order to achieve partnerhood, like, um, uh, like, um, to a point that I, uh, like, to a point that I became a shell, uh, a shell of my former self, my friendships will suffer, my relationship will suffer, my quality will also suffer, and it's an uphill battle from there. I am trying my best to keep up with it, but, yeah, sometimes I'm not fortunate, but, um... It also doesn't help that I'm a little hesitant on taking some um, important steps to get there. Cause, cause d don't get me wrong, I would love to get partner one day. Keep striving for that 75 viewer, th hey. viewer threshold. Aw, okay. I, I hope one day I'll finally reach there. I hope. Till then, I will still get support through other means and I will still get support through other means, and one of them is, and one of them lately, lately is through my Patreon, which, um, which I'm gonna be bringing this up again here, um, th thanks to my time when I was in, wh which, um, it does serve as a tip jar of sorts, but um, you can, but with Patreon, you can actually get early access, um, early access to finish art as well as other knickknacks that come with it, depending on the tiers that you um, follow to me. That's I... like that, content. That, um, yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, if those were the else here, they would have said it. You know, yeah, yeah. This is true. But, yeah. I mean, I have to say the wrong <laughs> Well, Kraft is dead through, through Cridge. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. But, yeah. I, mean, I wouldn't mind actually being partner one day. I just, um... Maybe, just maybe, I'll just need to figure out how to make... How to get that... How to get there. But, till then... It will be a miracle and a half that I actually did meet it. Maybe I just actually need to put myself a little bit more effort, but enough where I could actually just um. Hey, when you when you stream Call of the Lamp again, think you can make your avatar or the gremlin wear the crown? You know that's not a bad <laughs> idea. Yeah, but are you <laughs> sure you want to give the gremlin a hmm? An elder god's crown? I mean, she caught she has an uncle named Zine. She, I think she sh she should be fine. We'll see. Sound alerts uh, are funny as fuck. You know what? That's fair. Oh, by the way, what actually happened after I left on Cold Lab? Huh? What actually happened after Cold uh, Lamb? Ah! Uh, well, okay! That's another death again! Okay! Is the deer being good? Yes! He's behaving! He's be Are you sure about that? I am positive, sweetheart. Also, hi. Hello. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy your bond today? I did, though when I tried infusing it with some of the grease from the chicken, uh, uh, a good portion of the rice got soggy. Oh no! Oh dearie, oh. no! Well, I, I I don't know what soggy rice is like. Ugh. It's nasty. Yeah, yeah. Honey, you need the right amount of of sauce in your rice, not the whole thing. <laughs> mhm. Mm I don't have the right problem with gravy. I don't have that problem with the katsu. Fair, but oh, let me do this stretch redeem. I needed it anyway. That is a good stretch. And let me just also um stretch my hand real quick. Remember, chat, um, if you actually do some writing or typing a lot, it's important to take breaks. 
It's important to actually stretch out your hands whenever you are, uh, whenever you had the time, so you can actually give them some level of reprieve. And also go outside so your eyes can adjust to normal sunlight instead of the artificial ones that your screens make. But I will say this though, um, I actually got myself an ergonomic um, keyboard, which um, I actually got when when my when my folks were still here in Hawaii, in Texas for their little vacation. I actually want to get myself a normal keyboard, one where it doesn't make too much clickety clacks no noises because I don't want to make I don't want to make I don't want to I don't want to distract chat. And my mom really insists that I really get the ergonomic keyboard. I was hesitant, but then another woman came up right to us in that Best Buy, actually saw the ergonomic keyboard, said, "Oh God, j yes, just the one I need," and she grabs it. And she and and, my, and mom asked if it's really good if, if it's really good. She and she said, "Oh yes, especially since I had these," which she then shows us her. How do I say this? Her um her scarred wrists that actually had stitches on them, right where the cut right right where the carpal tunnel it um tendons are, and it was a morbid sight to look at. And then she gave us oh. a little backstory where she told us that um she had been typing for over thirty years, and then her wrists really have gotten super bad. And it has taken her about months of, of her to be recovered for, to finally recover for it. And it, and it, uh, and, it, and she, it has left her with some level of bruising and pain. And she just recently recovered from that said bruising for a month, a, a month ago. And, um, it was enough to solidify my mom's decision to say, yeah, yeah, okay, uh, Okay, you're go you're going to go and get this. You're you're going to go and get this keyboard, and I just if that's not the binary intervention, I don't know what is. I don't know either. I mean, that is um, that was absolutely morbid. <laughs> but it's freezing, and I hate going outside to smoke. I do not blame you. I do not blame you at all. All I ask of you is, um, make sure you bundle up nicely. <laughs> okay, that's another death by cringe. Okay. What? I don't know. I mean. What about this art piece is so cringe? Oh, wait, the wrist is that a cringe one. Yeah. But, yes, all I ask of you guys is just keep yourself nicely bundled and warm. And two, always make sure you give your arms and wrists a break if you've actually been um, doing your work for a very long time. I wish, I, I, I don't want anyone to actually go through, uh, go through and suffer some level of pain. Nobody deserves that. But, yeah. I think the worst injury that I ever, um, don't, um, I think, I think the worst kind of injury I wish I will never experience is, um, wrist pains and, or, or, or broken arm pains on my dominant hand, my writing hand, my drawing hand, if you will, because, um, I don't want, uh, I don't want to lose, um, my, I don't want to lose this gift, I, I don't want to lose this gift, if you will. Okay. So if you're actually gonna, so if you're ever gonna do something um, with that requires something with your hands, make it a habit of using your non-dominant hand. Um, from if it if there's going to be a risk of getting injured. Oh, hi, Jay. Hello. How's hey, Jay. Awesome? Uh, I'm exhausted. I just got off work. You gonna be okay, my guy? Yeah, once I get home, I'm gonna take a nap or something. Fair enough. Oh! I've got, oh? A, ni I got a nice hurly fluffy jacket, but it's still cold. Yikes. And hey, my- my- my patron- my- my patron emote has finally been used! Woo! Look at that! Yeah! It's the one with the also? gremlin- it's the one with the gremlin and the pillow! 
I actually have news. Huh? Ooh. I'm getting a new pair of glasses today. Yay! Yay! Nice. Nice. I'm actually going to pick them up. That's wonderful news, Jay. Just make me cry. Ah! Which is good because I haven't changed these things in seven years. I'll They've stream. lasted very long then. <laughs> I'm in stream. I'll spam if I want. Well, be careful on, ha on spamming too much, you know. Yeah, you don't want to get caught by uh, by any potential bot scanners. Yeah. Okay, so you know, with front poses, the uh, with designing characters in the front. Maybe it's because of uh, of the culture of the culture that is today. Um, this would really pass as a VTuber model, would it? It would. It would, yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. Um. I think it. I. Th yeah. I definitely think it would. Okay, so let's see. I think I should try to work through this. All right, I think that should do for the base inks. Now let's go ahead and refine this, and then we can actually get to work when it comes to designing the character on the back. I mean, the character on the, uh, we'll, de we'll design the flats, and then we'll design the character's um, pose on the back. I don't know. So is this like a reference sheet? Yes, it is. Oh, nice. When it comes to my reference sheet, they would actually follow on the three poses. The dynamic, the front pose, and the back pose. Hmm. I'm gonna give you the extra details besides that. And the extra details are indeed on the side, Jay. Like, um, most of the... Generally, most of the time, it will be the color swatch of the character sheet. But, um, there will be some cases where, um, the client would actually ask me to design their, um, accessories that are tied with that character. Ow! Ah! Hey! Oh, uh, hi, Wild! And then... And then the fourth and fifth being the bobas and the... <laughs> <laughs> well, mm -hmm. a lot of things did happen and yeah OW! Yesterday's stream! Ow! <laughs> oh my goodness. I what? really want to play it again. Is it uh, is it weird I want to play it again? Ow! Hey! Hey, there's nothing wrong with wanting to play a game again. No. Damn. Also, who's being a jerk and Shaq? Come on now. Cause don't get me wrong, I I I got the bug. I got the ow ow. Hey, stop. Cause don't get me wrong, I got I have been bitten by the bug. That is um, I have been. Hold the lamb. I I I I I got the bug. I got the bug of ro I got the roguelike. I got the roguelike ga um game bug and. I kind of want to do a little bit more or something, but I have to show some level of restraint. Oh, that's hard. Like what? I know the feeling. Them? I know the feeling. Yeah. Like, there's this one game I've been itching to constantly play, but um, the problem is one. I'm not sure if other people play it, and two. It can be very expensive. I mean, it can't be that bad. Stellaris. Bruh. Uh, what? Basically, you make a space. It's like a. Do you know how Total Warhammer 40k is? Uh, or Total War Warhammer? Okay. It's like Gathering Space. And people can make, like, different space empires. You can make business. You can like turn your essentially your entire faction into a specific to do like specific things. Let's like you could have a trade empire, you could just murder Herbo the entire galaxy, random events happening. That type of stuff. Hold on, let me look at chat real fast. Um 
By the way, Miki, I'm serious on the idea. The second, um, the gremlin puts that cr puts that crown, it'll become another gremlin, in, uh, in, gremlin like the coals. Oh, you mean like dressing up the gremlin in um the the lamb's outfit with the red, complete with the red crown in total? Oh, okay, that's not gonna um. That's that. That's not. <laughs> that does not sound concerning at all. You. See the gremlin. But this is where I'm gonna go ahead and get off because one, my break is over. Two, I got nothing to do, so I'm gonna start on my way home. Oh, okay. Good luck. Don't die. What do you like for dinner tonight? No promises. Uh, what you got in mind? Uh, we could have the leftovers that I made yesterday. Uh, yeah, we could hey, probably fully cook, uh, cook them fully through. Fair enough. And Keyblade Mistress, hi! Welcome, welcome! Oh, mm. it's been a while since I actually done one of these, so... Yeah! Yeah. Papa. Yes, That's dear? so cute. I love it when you do that. <laughs> love you. <laughs> love you too, sweetie. Mm. <laughs> But yeah, I, um, I, part of me really wants to play more of Cult of the Lamb again. I, I got the bug. I am bitten by the bug stupid hard. I am trying my best to show some restraint and not progress further than I, than I am right now. So I'll have to wait next week for more adventures with Cult of the Lamb. <laughs> There's actually one thing I would love to do with mm -hmm. Cult of the Lamb. What's that? Um, like, one thing I was quite surprised by was everyone's traits. Oh, yeah! Those, like, I mean... Every single person's follower traits. I, we can all agree, Q really got the short end of the stick here on that one. Well, I mean, look, we're just tickling the... We're just tickling the surface when it comes to the trades. I am pretty sure, I'm betting my left boob that there's gonna be worse trades than what we just saw from the first time we, um, uh, from the first stream we've done. I mean, Faithless and, um, the said other one trait, which I'm not gonna say at the moment. Good. Because, like, those seem like some pretty iffy traits. I mean, this seems like to be the worst combination. Look, I'm sure we can make it work. I know we can make it work. We always make things work in this house. What is that you had them for the worship tutorial? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm certain I can actually assign them to another um, chore once uh, we actually got further along. Maybe put them on for cleaning. Who knows? Oh, but, Boy Splatty said there are worse ones. See, I told you. I'm betting on my left boob. We're only tackling the surface level. Whisper me two of oh, them, shit. please. <laughs> um, like, I was oddly surprised by, like, some of the people's traits. Uh, if I check the integration, because I think... No, oh, crap, I can't check the integration from here. Oh, uh, wait. Hey. Listen, um, what did, um, Jexo said earlier? Um, he said, I'm serious on the idea that the second the gremlin puts on the crown, it will become another gre gremlin like one of the cult. That's the only thing that they've said recently. Uh, yeah, and I actually made a response to that. Yeah. And other than that, cool. um, there, I, well, Lord Bluff, I wish it. I, I want to know more of these, but I think I'll try to discover them by myself. Mostly blind. Mostly. Yeah, uh, just like what um, um, Boy Splatty said. Because there's something... I am new to this game, and there I've only known bits and pieces of when it comes to Cult and the Lamb. That is all I actually have in my um, knowledge. The rest, I'm, I want to explore it on, on, onto my own terms. Does does that make a lot more sense? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's always nice to start in fresh. Mm-hmm. 
So, I will admit, like, I... Everyone in the entire room of that stream was like, Yeah, we have to do voices for these. Let's see, um... I didn't hear your response, I'm sorry. Uh, then I'll say it again. Um, yeah, I can definitely kind of see it. I mean... I mean, for fuck's sake, the gremlin's uh, the gremlin has an uncle and his name is Zeech. <laughs> okay, so oh, I don't think I actually I forgot to um do that to the okay. So I think our client's body um character is almost done in terms of the sketch. So we're just gonna have to do the um, the refining, and then it's off to the race as we go when it comes to everything else. There is one thing I can't say, and it'll be the most useful so source. Poop will be the most valuable re resource. Fair enough. I mean, wow. wait, if I actually put my brain to work here, there's gonna be, there is, you can actually do a farm in that game. Uh, mm -hmm. And um, let me let me connect the dots. Let me connect the dots. Um, so the the poop is gonna be used as fertilizer, if that's what I remember it says um, when I cleaned it up. Do I actually got that right? That makes sense. Well, that's one use. Yeah. Okay. I'm right. I'm right. The other one is a little bit more questionable. <laughs> well, I don't know what else is questionable out there, but um, wait, what? I I thought I fixed her nose. Okay, I'm getting close to the uh, optometrist, so I'm gonna have to hang up so I can uh, go ahead and pick up my glasses. All right, you take care, Jay. I'll be right back. Mm. Good luck. Let's see. Um, don't say anything after, according to Boys Bloody. I don't even play Cult of the Lamb. I just know a few things. And I think that should be enough. Like, it's due to the fact that... I, yes, I do know a large portion of games, but I just don't play them because it's pretty hard to try and get yourself into a game when most of the, when you want actually want to do something productive for most of your time. Like that's a little bit of a problem with me. I have too much free time to the point I want to do something that's productive, or at least not be like. I also want to be like talkative as well. Fair. Hmm. Okay, if my memory serves me <laughs> right, a woman's blouse should be pointing to the left or to the right? It's I to the left. Okay. Also, <laughs> well, there's a modern Baldur's Gate now. Hmm? And it's... For a specific race in mind. Mm. I mean, it can't really be that bad. Oh, it is. Because a certain lizard folk is being added for it. Uh, okay. And there goes my interest. <laughs> yeah, like, I do really like most of the Baldur's Gate mods. Like, apparently you can now play as an Asimov, as a Kobold, as a Satyr. Um, I'm not even sure how many other mods are out there for that. Come to think of it. I'm sure you. I'm sure they are if you know where to look. But the better question is, um, are they pretty functional? Yeah. yeah. Um, I had a friend of mine um, actually make Afton in there, and all the, like it should be running really smoothly. Let's see. Um... Oh, Keyblade Mistress. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. She looks very pretty. Well, I'm glad to. I'm glad that she is pretty too, because um, it took a little bit of a while to actually get her um, design working proper. But I'm actually glad I was able to pull it off. Okay, oh. so there we go. 
Cause... Yeah. Hmm? Oh, yeah. No, sorry. I was, like, searching up those said mods to see if you... See if I can find that. If you want to... If you want productive games, Afton, play Stardew Valley. I mean... Hmm. Yeah, Stardew Valley is not a bad choice. Uh, take it from me who actually has played the game. And I actually had a lot of fun with it. Oh, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, I think... Although, speaking of Stardew Valley, maybe after a couple of streams of Cult of the Lamb, we'll definitely go back into um, Stardew Valley. But I am... Struggling to fight against the bug of trying to play more of it because it's, um, I I'm trying. I am trying my best. I am trying my best to not succumb to the siren song of temptation. It's, it's pretty hard. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, um, by the way, I just found an Asimar mod for the, on, on the Nexus mod. Paul Baldur's Gate. Yeah. So, hmm? as an as an ASMR VTuber, I like to ask is it if it's pretty good. Is um, pretty I'll have to see if I I'll have to see if someone knows about it all or Our, has used it. I but I can't help but feel a little bit judgmental, you know. <laughs> um, by the looks of things, it does seem to be pro. It does seem to have some pretty good results. Um, last time I was updated was on the 17th of December. So literally last month. Mm -hmm. So it does seem to be like up to date. Oh, I really want Baldur's Gate so badly. <laughs> I want to play Baldur's Gate so badly too, but um, my I still got the computer parts. It's just that Steve is having trouble trying to connect, uh, try to get, um, try to get a hold of his uncle. But I told Steve that if this doesn't keep work out by the end of the month, we're just gonna go to plan B, and that's to find somebody else to do the building for us. Yeah, like, come to think of it, you could actually, like, because of Baldur's Gate 3 having a multiplayer feature, you could actually, like, it sounds a little bit um, questionable, but you could maybe, like, put a whole lot of mods into the thing and people can play as like different races entirely for a party okay yeah my roommate and i just got back from our shopping for essentials for our disney world trip next year oh that's wonderful i hope it actually yeah i one i'm great uh, i'm glad you I, i'm i'm happy to hear that you but you, you guys must have had a lot of fun during that uh, during that shopping trip but two I, um, I would, I love Disney, I would love to visit Disney World one day. <sighs> but I, but, but, uh, um, but, but I think I should, but, um, ugh, I can't, I can't, I can't speak today. I hope that you guys actually had a good trip out when it comes to Disney World one day. Honest. I don't actually remember much of the time I, much of Disneyland Florida. Well, there's a different, di um, there's a fine line difference between Disneyland and Disney World. Disney, you know, Disney World is usually located in Florida. The rest outside of that is usually Disneyland. And, mm. but um, I'm the only Disney. Uh, I've I've only been to Disneyland in California years ago, but I actually would love to go back to there um again. Especially mm. since, um, well, I I've only been there once, but yeah, would like to go back there again one day. Aww. Let's see. It's the roguelike bug and you want to progress. E yeah, it do be like that, though. I, I had that bug when I, fr when I played um, Binding of Isaac. Back in my uh, back when it was still available in Newgrounds, then it got available in Steam, and that thing was so and that thing was bitten strong since. I mean, oh, thank the lords we haven't given you Hades. I uh, I actually bought Hades. 
<laughs> oh no. But I've yet to play it though. I think I want to take my time with getting Cold of the Lamb through first and then maybe find some time to play Hades. Because I will say this unfiltered. Every time I see Hades, it is bisexual panic. I think in the I, I think that case is even worse when it comes to uh, the se when it comes to sequel game that's on the horizon. Okay, so let's see. This looks pretty good, so let's turn that off. And I think we actually did pretty good on this. Yeah. The Castle Crashers used uh, used to be used to be a Newgrounds game, and it now is on the console. Oh yeah, definitely. I would actually love to play Castle Crushers again one day. I played it with Steve years and years ago. I wouldn't mind actually doing it again on uh, on Steam. I mean, I, on, on stream. Wait. Wait, hold up. Okay. There's got to be a way for me to actually... um. No, no, okay. Okay, that actually looks fine. Okay. Okay, uh, say with Alien Hominid. Oh, yeah, that was also another classic. Oh, God, I am old enough to say that those kinds of games are pretty much classic jesus i oh i suddenly feel stupid old and i hate it i won't say anything <laughs> good otherwise i'm gonna say uh, otherwise that's a swift kick to the uh, swift kick to the uh, to the, uh, the satan nuts <laughs> no no like here's the thing like uh, I only knew of Newgrounds back in 2015. Oh, okay, that kind. <laughs> yeah, like, I've... <sighs> mostly, when I see oh. things on Newgrounds, it's like very half and half. Thanks for the hydrate. Oh, God, it tasted weird. When... Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. Sparkling water does not taste good when, they, when it stopped being cold. <laughs> you sure you're okay? <laughs> I will be! I will be! Uh. Uh, hmm, where is that? Like, oh my goodness, there's a fairy up. There's a fairy mod. Um, is it functional? It's made by the same people who made the Sator mod, so yeah. Nowadays, people go to new grounds to play the spicy games. It don't be Indeed. like that, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, there, Afton, but chat has spoken. Any last words? You, you do what you must. You Finish go. it. Uh, are you looking oh. forward to Valentine's Day? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I am. When it comes to well, for me and Steve, I, I think if anything, I am just looking forward to my anniversary with Steve. Aww. Yeah, cause we're gonna be turning eight eight, eight years old. Um, at, our relationship is gonna turn eight years old. Um, coming this year. And I would know since I kind of had the roses to prove it. See, um. In the second year of our uh, of our relationship, um, in our anniversary, Steve actually got this thing, which is um, like um, a gilded rose of sorts, where it's actually where you take a rose, you put it in some sort of a um, a coating of sorts, so it'll stay forever, and you top it off with some um, and you top it off by painting oh, by painting some uh, by painting some gold on the edges. And Steve got me this beautiful white rose, um, um, got beautiful white rose that I absolutely loved. And it's still with me to this day. And we made it a bit of a habit that 
For every two years, Steve would actually get me this um, one beautiful gilded rose for us. And I got three so far. One, that is uh, one white, one yellow, one blue. And now, um, <laughs> I don't know what color he's going to get me this year, but I am looking forward to it. If anything, I need to figure out what to actually get for him for this year's um, anniversary. Spy on them. Spy and see what he wants. And then find it. Um, it's not... Uh, maybe so. The venison is, is drawing on the rack to serve. <laughs> 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 that is terrible! I should have known, but... I think that's the main reason why most of the people in the chat want me <laughs> to be the deer. Because, uh, I mean, it is on brand for us, which I'm always happy to be. Like, I'm happy that I have a little bit of a brand. <laughs> it is a very mixed one for me. <laughs> okay, so let's go get um, the client's colors. So, um... There she is, and now I'm going to have to turn off these effects, and I'm going to have to turn off the skirt effects so I can actually um, get a better look. I'm going to be like Ralph on Valentine's Day and comes Poppycock. You know, that's fair. I am aware that when it comes to some people, Valentine's Day is, well, a painful reminder for, uh, for, their, uh, for their predicament. But use this day for Valentine's Day to celebrate for you, you know? Don't use the... Uh, I want you to do, I, I want you to treat yourself... For those who are, who do, who are single, I want you to use that day to actually treat yourself with... Uh, with um, with, with hey, kindness and listen. love for yourself. Oh, yes? Well, gonna say happy anniversary to both Miki and Steve, but be careful or Steve might put a, might put a butt on the... Uh, uh, um, yeah. uh. I mean... <laughs> I mean... T I mean, that's a thought, but, um... Um... One, it's... Uh, I mean, that would be... That isn't... That is a thought. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But, um... I, I don't know. I've been taking care of myself with birth control pills um, since Steve, since I arrived here in Texas. It, earlier than that, it was patches. But yeah, um, I mean, it, it it'll be a miracle and a half. But at the same time, it'll also be a frightening. Uh, it'll be a little bit of a freak out period for both me and Steve, cause we're um. Not re really ready to have kids because of our current predicament, but Steve's also. But at the same time, Steve said he wouldn't mind since it's his. And <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I I mean I just um, cause we we kind of had this idea that um. Maybe once we finally got married one day, um, th then we can actually find ourselves a family. That's usually how it goes, you know? I mean, <laughs> we did actually did talk about on um, the prospect of kids, especially how we're going to handle them when it comes to parenting, but yeah. No, 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 no. Look, K uh, look, KJ, that was an accident, okay? That was an accident, and that bed was stupidly weak to begin with. <sighs> they, they're not gonna let go of that, aren't they? Wait, uh, what? <laughs> Explain? <laughs> okay, where do I start? Remember, do you remember how Steve and I had to go, um, go visit our other friends who came back to, um... We came by the Texas so just so we could go to Colossal Con um, last year. Yes, I remember that. You cosplayed as your character for that. Mm-hmm. Now, um, 
we actually made a bit of an agreement to go to this one house in, uh, that's, that, that they found an Airbnb to actually host a whole lot of the friends that were supposed to be coming in at that day. I mean, mind you, we in, in the early days of this planning out, we actually had like lots of people who are actually coming in. So, um, but it eventually over time passed by, that party dwindled into just only me, Steve, and a couple of our friends, A and B. And, oh boy, well, we still made it work. The house is lovely. We actually learned the hard way that the furniture there is something you can actually find in Ikea, if not something you can, that you can find in a second-hand sh uh, thrift shop. I mean, no, uh, look, I do not have any shades on thrift shops. I just hope, I just wish that the, that the owners of this Airbnb would actually do better with the situation. How would I know? Why would I say this? Well, okay, Steve and I took the master's bedroom, um, uh, took the master's bedroom of the house, Friend A took the house, uh, took the room that's like a, a couple doors away from ours, and friend B took the one that is um close by to the kitchen. It's a really big house, and um, cue in sec the second day of the con where um when Steve and I were d were just gonna rest up for the day alongside with friend um alongside with friend A and B just so we can actually um. Just so we can actually save our energy for the after part for the cons um, after hours party because that's where the um, the water park is going to be open for us. Um, we decided to just go ahead and rest up for the day and read the books that we bought from the con ourselves. When just as we let got ourselves on the bed to lay down and read. The bed gave way! It crushed, it fell, just, um, it was only a couple inches uh, away from the floor, and it took us by surprise! We did, we look underneath, and we saw that the, um, that the support had gave way! And just, look, we were just trying to read and trying to relax! But no! It decided to finally say, pick the day, it says, all right, I'm ti it's time to kill over, <laughs> and then just go and does that, man. So would you say your experience was bed breaking? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I held that in so I tried to hold that in. And you wonder why you're up there, and. <laughs> And yeah, that was a, but it was a really nice master's bedroom. I just wish the bed isn't something you find in secondhand shop of Ikea. <sighs> but yeah, we, Steve and I just usually, it, it, at the end of the day, we had to go pick another place to actually sleep in that house. But boy, was it a miserable experience. Because the room that is next to us, which contains a bunk bed that is most likely gonna fit like um, two people in the bottom, one person on top, and um, a double bed that is not too far from it, um, Steve and I decided to take the the ladder bed. But the ventilation in that room is so poor, we had trouble sleeping that night. We it was. It, there, we, we couldn't, like, we, like, it's very humid, like, it's uh, hard for us to actually sleep through it. <sighs> we also tried make, giving the bunk bed it also a try, but even that bed's, um, mat, even the bed's mattress is also an absolute shite. How is, at the end of the day, we just, it feels like this whole experience when it comes to the house, Alongside with the tension between A and A and B, which pretty they, which I, which they pretty much had a falling out, um, made the whole experience of our time up there, it made our time up there like I say about a to, a bit of two out of five, if not two and a, two and a half out of five, if you will. Huh. At least the backyard is very beautiful. Hmm. So, yeah, 
that's the bad experience, okay? Yep, that, that gave me a whole picture. Thoughts, questions, death threats? Mostly a joke, but I'm gonna keep that to myself. Eh, of course you would. Like, I'm, I'm aware that what I say is hilarious, but... And I know I'm up here for a specific reason, but I am a satyr after all. It is... it comes with the territory. <laughs> I still count as a giggity moment. Look, I will say this. That bed actually gave us an experience of what it feels like to be on a king-size bed. Like, um, there is so much room you can, uh, you can actually go, you... Cause, Steve and I would actually have a bed, uh, actually have a bed frame here at home, which is actually that of a, um, the size of, uh, of that of a king-size, um, for a king-size bed. Thing is, we don't have the mattress to actually go for the job for it. And, um... So that match, so that bed frame is just sitting in our garage for a good, uh, for a good amount of time. We're never, we're never sure when is it ever going to be used. Cause our current situation right now is that we have a, um, we have a queen size mattress. But would be nice if we actually have a. But I will say this though, the king size, uh, the king size bed really feels nice. Extra room feels also up uh, means the cats have more options of where to sleep. How are the cats doing, by the way? The cats are doing fine, although um, although I uh, I have a sne uh, although I have a sneaking suspicion they are very um curious about Tom though. Tom. Um. Okay. Where do I where do I begin? Um, ever since we moved here into this rent house back in, um, uh, back in October 2022, um, we actually, there is this one, uh, cat that I've been noticing for a while now, where, where he would always keep, uh, walking through our backyard, just so he could actually do his own thing. He was a, he was this grayish brown, tabby, fluffy cat, like, so fluffy, and um, I actually want, I, and I couldn't help but actually look at this cat with, um, uh, look at this cat who had passed by in our in our yard, um, with some sense of I want to pet that floofy boy. I want to pet this floofy cat, you know. <laughs> and welcome. um, hmm? welcome back. Oh, welcome back. Hey. So how'd it go? My vision feels so weird right now. Uh, they all need to hack this, so they're gonna, they're gonna have to get used to it. I'm not used to things being this clear. I mean, it will take time, but eventually you'll get, you'll be okay. Yeah, I'll get used to it. It's just like making a sudden switch from like, uh, from like 70, 720p to like 4K, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that does make sense. I I would know since my video rendering um for my vods have always been set to 720 to save at um time. But uh yes, onto the onto the Tom story. So I always keep seeing this fluffy ta this fluffy tabby cat that has always um been passing by our neighborhood um yard every now and then minding his own business but it actually awakened something in me that i never thought i felt i felt again ever since i moved here to um uh, to the u.s and that is to and that is the urge to actually well um take care uh, take care of this one cat and um because i had this happen when i was uh, when i was a kid that I would actually try to take, uh, whenever I see a cute cat on the, on the neighborhood, the poor neighborhood that I grew up, that, that I was, um, that I grew up in, I would like to take them home with me and try to take care of them and ma make them my cat. Yeah, that, um, 
that's been a that, that that has been a habit of mine growing up. So, but I but this time now as an adult, I have the level of restraint that um I have some level of restraint that I told myself I'm most likely gonna feed this cat every now and then, and he's just um he's just a community cat. I'm not gonna take him in. Uh. Like, I would say that, and you also do have Steve, that will be, they'll be like, please, no, no, no. I mean, it did kind of start off that way. Um, <laughs> and so, I, and so, later down the line, Operation, uh, Operation, T um, Take Care of Tom is a go, much to Steve's, um, sh um chagrin, but he did look, but he did understand I do have a deep love for cats. So, um, every now and then I would actually leave behind a little bowl for- Ah! Speaking of the devil, he shall appear. Hello. 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 I was talking the story about Tom. Speaking of which, he's in the front. Uh, okay, um, hey guys, I'll be right back since Tom is in the front. Oh, no, he's right here. He's right there? Oh, wow, speaking of Tom. <laughs> Convenience. Take a picture, please. Please take a picture. We are animal people. Please take a picture. I like how me and you, Jay, we just like take a picture, even though we're both casual dog people. Okay, there we go. Yes, but I like animals, Bye. period. That is true. Okay, so hold on a second. I just took a picture of Tom, and um, let me go into the TV chat again. There we go. That's Tom. Which TV chat? Oh, there we go. Oh, he's so cute. He is cute. He's big. I know. Um, maybe it's just me who actually has been taking care of him a lot. Uh, hold on a second. Let me go and um, let me get this real fast chat, okay? Cute little chunker. <laughs> like. Okay, okay, um, uh, uh, I just want to take this picture, please, oh, okay, copy image, opening this in a big ass canvas, there it is, the this boy. is Tom, chat. This is the cat that I've been taking care of. Uh, this is the community cat that I have been taking care of for a long while now. And, um, and, um, ever since I've been feeding him food every now and then, he became a regular when it comes to our backyard. And to a point that he would actually just wait behind the glass do sliding door just so he could actually ask for food. But then I actually went as... But then one day I decided to go and take a um, nice break out out in the patio and sit down on the chair. Tom actually went as far to actually hop onto my lap and then he just purrs and relaxes, you know? Just for a brief moment. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Go the cats must Tom. have been jealous. Let's go ahead and just let chat uh, enjoy the glory that is Tom. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna uh, go feed the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Why would Jack the Dragon die of cringe? Anyways, let's go take a little intermission break. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, should I possibly go get dinner? Hmm. I'm gonna put that on the maybe.
Yes. Oh god, Chad actually heard that. Oh no! Oh no! I think Chad actually heard that! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> I don't know. Heard what? Hear ah! What did I hear? Don't no worry, Chad. Tell us what you heard. Don't worry about it! D -d don't worry about it! <laughs> April was just saying cuteness. Uh, we didn't hear anything. That was the thing. I'm, I'm sure they heard nothing. I'm sure everything is fine. We'll find out. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Honey. Like, <laughs> I was just about to go make dinner, but then oh, I just heard you, like, yelp, and I'm like, turn around. Uh, wait. Honey, no, get back in! Honey! What? Mm. What the? It sounded like she squealed. Aww. It sounded like she squealed. Ah, you heard nothing! <laughs> you heard nothing! I was just tickling her. Like, like this. <laughs> 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 Honey. Okay. Love you. Love you too. I shall be mute for a slight bit because I'm gonna go oh, make good. dinner. Alright, Afton, you go and help make dinner, okay? Did he get chilling. Did he gave her a squeeze? No, he tickled me underneath my armpits. You know, that's very oh, ticklish. <laughs> that is the, indeed a good weak spot. <sighs> and now Chad has learned that. Oh no. So, when are we gonna get the tickling fan ours? Now? <laughs> you get nothing! <laughs> oh, wait, what, what am I gonna do with you? No, seriously, what am I gonna do <laughs> with you? I don't know. Wait a minute. I almost made the mistake of coloring the leggings on where there should not be. I'm trying my best to not um, draw in the wrong layer because that's like an every, that's not um, an every artist's worst nightmare to experience. You need to stop! Why? You're drawing on the wrong layer! <laughs> By the way, are you gonna eat this? What is it? Honey? Oh, honey. Come on! Why are they putting these guys? Why is it? Why, why is this dog running around by cake. itself? But I know, honey. But that's cake. Well, if you want it, then you need to eat it before it goes bad. I will eat the cake. Okay. Okay. Good boy. I'll have it with tea. Oh, you like to have the cake with tea too? Well, yeah. I mean, it, uh, the sweetness actually helps. Com it, um. A certain tea will actually is a good complement with um, the sweetness of, uh, of the desserts. A question. So, what kind of tea do you like to pair it with? Oh, uh, that is a good question. I actually like to have my tea with green tea, or but or this one particular tea that I got from um, the shop that is pomegranate green tea. Hmm. Okay. I normally like to have my pastries with peach tea. Well... I feel like the sweetness is, helps complement each other. I think so, too. Mickey, save and layer. Thank you. Okay. This... Well, this... one parking spot's been taken. That's fun. Oh, no! Dude, that is rude! Oh, dude, I'm sorry Worse to hear that. Worse has been taken by a truck, so I can't get in. Oh! Uh, that, that's, that's even worse. Yeah, it is worse. Oh, <sighs> I better go complain to my landlord. Well, I hope it actually works out. I, I hope. Okay, skirt. 
All right, I am gonna... Now for the hard part. Okay. No, that's gradient. Okay, 3D cross, no, no, no. Okay, image material. Wait a minute, did I, did I save it in a... No, I did not do that. I did not say, mmm. Miki, you have one job. You should have saved it. You should have. You should have saved it, Miki. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I found it. I found it. I found it. I found the plates. I found the plates. But. No. Oh, good. I was about to call you a goober. <laughs> okay. But I retract the goober statement. Eh, of course you would. Okay, there it is. That's the plate I'm looking for. So, I am gonna see if this is going to be the longest process, but this is a process that is necessary for the job, and um, this won't take way too long than it should. I hope. Maybe. I think. Okay. This is why I really love Clip Studio Paint. You can actually get away with, um... If you know what you're doing, you can actually get away when it comes to certain um, materials like this. Wait, let me see how I, um, okay, okay. So, Miki, I have a question for you. What's that? What happens when you make an addicted artist quit cold turkey? Ooh. They would actually um, succumb to that even further. No, they go through withdrawal. <laughs> Mika, you had one job. I'm trying, my guy. I'm trying. I'm trying. Lord knows I'm always trying. Okay, so. I have an idea. I have an idea. What's your idea? Okay. I wonder if it can be possible to... Flip this thing over. Oh, okay. Or not. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. Oh my god, my eyes! Oh god. Okay. Okay. I, I okay, this is um oh no, chat, this is this can't be easily fixed! This can't be easily fixed! Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, Oh, okay. Okay, um... Wow, I really do need to get used to these glasses, because, wow! Um, are you, are you struggling so far? Well, it's like the difference is night and day. I'm just not used to it. Um, I'm sure it will be in time, I hope. It should take a couple of days. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually fix that. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's the second. That's the closest thing. That's the closest thing. Okay. So far, so good. We're doing great. By the way, does anyone else hear a beep when Mickey talks, or is it just me? A beep? How? I'm, I'm wondering if it's. I'm wondering if it's just my phone or something. How distinct are we talking here? Just like a very subtle one. Um, I don't hear any beeps. Hmm. Maybe it's just Discord for me. Bless you. Ugh, excuse me. Okay, so... 
Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, that's not too bad. So let's go ahead and do the same thing to this. Okay, delete mask. And apply mask there and rotate this. I might have to fix this um, a little later though. I think, cause, um, yeah, I think I may have to fix this a little bit later because some of the areas of this plate is not looking, is not meshing well with the others. Okay, no, 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 okay. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and fix you later. Yeah, I do not have the um, the time and memes to actually do the rest of the plaid um, skirt, so. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take Daisy for a walk. All righty then, you take care now. See ya. See ya. All right. So that looks pretty good. That looks that looks pretty good. Um, some areas will have to be fixed up a little bit later, but it's not too bad. the right size for the plate. Alright, and... You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna fix this a little bit later. I'm, I'm on a short notice, and I don't want to make it too much of my... too much of my time. Okay. Through Color Master. Okay, so... So this is, so let's see. What did I do when it comes to this? All of these are all in brightness. Okay. Okay. Brightness, 44%. Okay. When I listen to the music playing, it gets me asking, what do you think of the Cult of the Lamb soundtrack so far? It's actually pretty good. I actually like how, how it, it was actually, um, how it actually slaps. And I, and, and I really can't wait to actually hear more of it when I get the chance. I'm pretty sure that there's rest that, there, there are some out there that are absolute bangers, but yeah, I can't wait for the rest. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot the one important detail in her design. Um, let's see. And let's go ahead and get the color for those lip, lip lines. That's not too bad. But yeah, I am actually looking forward to what the rest of the um, playlist is going to be like when I finally get the time. So, that's mo but but that's something that's uh, a future Mickey's problem to worry about, not present Mickey's um, problem. It, and that also includes um, trying to um, get through with. Yeah. Ah. And that also includes trying to get through um, the urge, if you will, to not try my best not to play more because I know it's tempting out there, but I'm going to try my best to show some level of restraint. Okay. 
Hey, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's the front pose, which will only require uh, us to do the, um, the flat colors as needed. I mean, we did this before when it comes to doing Shad's commission back then. Um, wait a minute. Where is the commission sheets? Oh, okay, it's, um, well, I guess we had to go there, um, ourselves. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so. That's gonna, okay, so the front pose is now done. Now we're gonna do the heart, the tricky part, which is doing the back pose, if you will. Okay. Front pose. Okay, duplicate. Back pose. But um, until then, I'm gonna go have. Let's go have ourselves a bit, a bit of a ten minute break, so we can actually get ourselves something to drink, something to eat, and use the bathroom, if you will. I'll see you guys in about ten minutes. Okay. See you soon.
now we are back. <clears throat> How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Hey, welcome back. We just come back. Welcome back. Hope you guys actually had a good break. So we're gonna get actually, actually get back to work when it comes to doing this commission. Now we have just finished the front pose. Now it's time for us to work on something a little. Uh, now it's time for us to work on to the back pose, if you will. And I'm hoping this time around that um. Things will look a little bit on the easier end, I hope. Maybe, but we'll, we'll make it work. Okay. It shall work. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn off the um, the colors of this and put this into um. I forgot what the name of this layer is called, but um, lower the opacity just a smidge. And. Let's create a layer that'll help us make the back. I know my methods is a little bit uh, on the weird end, but um, hey, this help us work. This made us. This made things work for us when we were doing uh, when we did shads. Miles will just see if we can make this work with this one. Okay. Hmm. I actually do wonder, hmm? if I, like, if you had to think of a dynamic pose for, like, Afton himself, what would you think? What would you think of doing um, I don't know. I mean, it, it, I, I don't, I, I'm not sure, because, um, it could be just about anything. Hmm. Hmm. I've always tried to like think of poses for him because like the hard part about him is it's not like the upper body that's the issue, it's his legs. Mm-hmm. Cause he is a um because because he's a deer person, his legs are like drastically altered, so you have like a different sense of gravity, you could say. Fair. Although, it's always been the hardest part because of the whole, like, how does he sit down on the floor? You know... Because I uh, didn't... Sorry. You, no, sorry. You, you, no, you go. I can wait. No, no, no you, you can say that. You can say that there. Yeah, I can say actually... You know, I was going to say, you know, you do raise a good point. Like, like, can he... Because here's the thing, like... Because of, um, like, if I take a look at the deal, like, anatomy, it has one of those, like, they kind of, like, bend their knees in two different ways. Yeah? So, okay. so, like, does he, like, push his legs backwards and kind of almost, like, sits on his knees? Or is it more of, like, can he cross his, like, does he just sit on there and just... Hold onto his legs in front of him. Well, hmm. And that goes to like many Sator characters itself. This is true. You have a Sator character now, so you could actually. I think mine so, like... would actually work a little bit on the normal end ish. Mm. Wait a minute. Because mm. I'm kind of like looking at a um, hind leg study. Like, yeah. not, in, not part of like any university thing, it's just more of like a general think okay i'm having a hard time trying to get this thing to work let's see weird honestly i don't think so, uh, so each artist i know has their own style best to stick to what works according to lord bloth hmm. and i see that um this is a tr this is a true statement. Each and every artist has their own way in making it work. 
Mm, that's true. Mm. Like, I just kind of think of it like that because I don't see a lot of, like, artists draw, um, like, creatures with, like, humanoids with kind of, or, like, satyrs in general. Yeah. I mean, you can with, like, um, animals such as, like, animals and creatures, but when you mix the two together, it's a little bit of a, like, situation on how an artist would think how to do this. Hmm. Okay, so, let's see. Um... I'm going this one a little bit on the blind end, so... I know this is a uh, I know this is a trick to help um, save me some level of time, but I'm going in this one a little bit blind, a little. Okay. Okay. So. There we go. So. Got that there, and okay. I am gonna have to put you up a little bit because while the front looks like it's going down, the back on the other on the hand um, needs to look a little bit up. Does that make a little bit more sense? Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, Cracker Jacks. Okay, that's something that will be fixed. If anything, um, any details that I actually miss, uh, uh, that I actually miss, will have to be fixed, um, off uh, offline, if you will. Now, let's go and design the back. But I have a feeling this, um... Okay. Okay, this, um... This might... This might, this might be a little bit tricky. This might... This might take a hot minute. Okay. Okay. How, um... How did I design those heels? They look like they're about, um, two inches, so, if not two, maybe three inches. Okay. How do you tell it's, like, two, three inches? I think it's, uh, I think at this point, I'm just eyeballing it. <laughs> I know it's a little bit unorthodox, but, hey, I, I mean, some people manage to make it work. But I heard that when it comes to um, heels, when it comes to um, women and not, uh, women and non-binary folk who wears them, who likes to wear them, um, two-inch heels actually are the most comfortable when it comes to um, the heel shoes out there. I don't know. Hmm. I I'm just um, I I'm just remembering stuff over there, and um, I may or may not be raw. Who knows? Okay, so let me. I think I might need reference for a previous art I've done in order to help me out with this one. Okay. Do I have. Um. Oh no. Okay. Um. Okay, how about in Scrapped Assets, um... Oh... Fuck. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I can make this work. I, I can make this work. I can make this day work. Okay. There it is. Okay. So, um, how do I make... Past Miki, what did you do in the past that made it work? 
Okay, something like that. It's not too bad. Not too bad, I think. I think I might be in trouble. I think I might be in trouble. Normally, I don't really design um, shoes in the back, but... Wait a minute. I think I actually did something else to a degree. What are Nessa's um, reference that I... Yeah, there, you. You. Yes, you. Okay, okay. Okay, um... Okay, so... Normally I don't freestyle this, but... I, I think I'm get, I, I think I'm I, I think I can make this thing work. Okay. The fuck was that? I just heard a thud outside. Honey, you good? No? Yeah, like what was that? A squirrel? <laughs> wait, 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 what? A squirrel ran head first into our glass door. I mean, I saw, I saw a squirrel running out of the door and he went into a tree. What else uh, would have enough, uh, what else would you describe it as? I mean, a bird, but I, mean, I don't I, think. I didn't see a bird. I saw a squirrel that was literally right there, three feet from the door. Whoa, whoa how did a squirrel? <laughs> oh, wow. Don't look at me for an explanation. I don't got one. I don't know either. I thought that was a bird that did that. I thought so too. Then I saw the squirrel. A what did a what? Uh, okay, so... I was just doing my thing. Do I was just doing my thing here, trying to get the shoes to work. When I hear a thud outside, that sounded like something just slammed something into um a, a, something that's li that, like that of a glass surface, which um alerted me and Steve. I thought it was Steve who actually did that noise. That noise, but no. It turns out um when Steve went out to investigate. He saw a squirrel three um, inches away from the glass door and then suddenly scampered away. And it's like the squirrel must have rammed head. It must have rammed into the glass door when it's doing its own business. <laughs> okay. I'm the way the squirrel's me. Okay. Question What's insight again? Is it wisdom or intelligence? Um. Wait. What? Someone's telling me to do an inside check. Not in the chat, but in a different place. Um, I think inside is wisdom? Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. I might be wrong. Yeah, inside is wisdom. Okay, so that was that, that was an experience. I did not um I did not thought that would actually happen, but it, we that actually did. Okay, so there we go. I guess that would most likely do. And now for the fingers. There we go. For the back fingers right there. I don't think I actually heard that kind of meme before when it comes to Markiplier. Or maybe, um, 
I haven't been watching mo most often with his videos lately, so that could also explain that too. I'm worried one day that I will actually go onto his thing and it says, um, <sighs> about him starting to retire. Well, he has been doing YouTube for over uh, tw 10 years. Yeah, I know. It's like, it's one of those things really, like, now that you are older, these people have successfully left a legacy on the internet. Yeah. And now that they have all of this stuff, they're starting to finally ask the question of, um, is it time to finally leave the mantle to someone else? This is true. I mean, lots of people were uh, were heartbroken when MadPat finally has has closed his doors. And to be fair, it's understandable why because he's got himself on a family now to look after, and um, he actually did. But he did actually left behind one hell of a legacy, one which I have a feeling that his um kid will actually um can't wait to learn one day. You know. Wait, no. Mothbla has a son now? What? No, MatPat! Oh, MatPat! Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I was also thinking of, like, other ones like Captain Sparkles and Dan TDM. Hmm. Like, I... really heard of, never really heard of them, to be honest. Dan TDM was one of the biggest gaming and Minecraft YouTubers in the UK. He has two kids now, and... He is... He has been talking about holding about retiring for quite some time. Well, I just hope he's doing well. I'm like, sure he's I'm, doing well too. Yeah, like I, I've met him IRL like when I was quite young, like, geez, almost a decade ago. <laughs> Nowadays, we can't confirm if people retire or not until they actually confirm them themselves. Yeah, yeah, it does feel like that, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, but yeah, I mean, I think the old adage kind of goes, um, don't, uh, don't cry when they're gone, smile that it happened. That is a fair and true and wise point to say. Because they did actually left behind a legacy where everyone will always um, look back and actually are happy that uh, and I actually um, get to look. Uh, yeah, I can't I can't really word because we're living in a period where, you know, they uh, where folks are uh, we're living in a period that you know, folks like Markiplier and, uh, and Mar Mar folks like P Markiplier and Matt Pat would leave behind, but uh, uh, have done great things, and it, and you know what? And if it's and if it's on them that they want to retire, that's perfectly okay, you know. Mm -hmm. hmm. But I, all I all I hope is that. Um, they actually had a good life once they finally uh, once they finally did so. I had a feeling that um, but Mark Aquapire's case, I had a feeling he wants to stick around just a little just just a little bit longer, if you if you will. After all, he is one of the uh, most successful YouTubers uh, as we speak. It's a miracle that he actually got this far. Hmm. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just a little melancholy, but I'm okay. I'm also like talking to another, another person. Someone's like messaging me in the background, so I'm a little quiet. Fair enough. I, I fair enough. That's okay. <laughs> I. It must be rare to actually hear me be quiet on occasion. Eh, somewhat. I've been told that by people if I start being quiet, it concerns them. I 
mean, they're not real. I, I, it is understandable. I'd imagine that if Matt, that Matt's son, Oliver, would have done his first uh, theory before retiring. <laughs> Aww. Let's see. Here we go. And now onto this. Okay. It's almost done. Almost done. Like, my lord, we've been working on this for, um... Roughly two hours and and thirty ish min, at uh, two hours and and t and fifteen ish min thirteen ish minutes, but we yep. actually did plenty of work. Doing well on the rough sheet. Mhm. Mm okay, so. Let's go ahead and actually clean up these um, other inks here. Wait, what do I um, also do with these shoes? Ah, okay. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, and, um, I guess this looks pretty good. Yeah, this looks pretty good. So, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the rest of her, uh, on the rest of her inks to f clean, to clean up. And afterwards, we're gonna go ahead and actually do the black, the um, the colors. Oh no, no. Um. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go Sorry. into the final renderings. RFD, hi, welcome, welcome back, welcome back. Currently editing a video I recorded two days ago. Oh, that's great. I hope it actually goes well. Huh. Yeah. I'm actually being offered a, like, a thing by a friend of mine to do some vocal work. I, like, I definitely should also do some vocal work for a friend. <laughs> I'm like, I was just, I think it was just, like, one game night. Sorry. So, like, do you wanna... No, 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 I can wait, I can wait. You go. Yeah, I was like, um, last game night, um, often have, like, some people IRL that I meet up with for game night, and... What he does, he's a university student that does computer gaming. Mm hmm And he asked me, um, would you like to do some voice work? And I was just like, keep talking, I want to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I immediately went into using different voices. Okay. Did it go well? Um, I kind of need to get some additional information, like, once I tell him, like, I asked him, once you have, like, a script ready and such, I can start getting that done. I can, like, read over them, start practicing with the voices, and see what he likes. Okay. I hope it actually works out. I have that, too. Okay, so, we... Managed to make this work with the colors of the with the colors of the pose. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay. So we've actually did it. We've actually made the back pose for our character. Okay. Ha. <laughs> 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 Also finally played a hundred and orange juice in forever. Found someone who to play it with, so it's ground to get back to it. That's great. That's regular. That's really great. I'm happy that you actually found somebody who um get to actually play with you for uh, for that. Okay. Let's 
let's go ahead and actually fix these colors. Okay, so. Oh, no, 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 that's, um, <laughs> okay, so that's, um, we're just gonna go ahead and fix this. As well as we're gonna delete this because there's no need for eye highlights. gonna go mute for a little bit okay um um sure sure okay okay let's go ahead and that we may have to redo those all over again okay There we go. And let's go ahead and do the rest here. weird. Okay. Okay, this is, um, something's, uh, something's off. Something's off with this. Um, maybe if we just try our best to use the, uh, no, no, not that. Okay. Why? Something's off with this. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Something's off. So something's off. Why is, um, the color's off when it comes to this, uh, when it comes to this. It's not fully black. It's, oh, god dang it. I, oh, doggone it. It was colored in with a different color. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no. This is, this can be fixed. This can be fixed. This will be fixed. This is fixed. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Huh, the beauty of vector layers. You can actually go back and, uh, and fix uh, the tweaks up over here. Okay. Uh 
No, 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 no. Okay. What the hell? People are playing the hell out of uh, power right now. No. Yeah, what? I'm also noticing that one too, that a lot of people are playing power a lot, but um... I don't know. I'm not really a huge. I'm. I, I'm not really feeling it. I don't. I don't want to play it though. Maybe. Maybe some people like to. Ha um. Like. Like. Maybe people want to play it because why the heck not? But for me, um. I don't know. I don't. I. I don't see myself playing it anytime soon, if not ever. Does that. Does that make more sense or something? I can kind of agree with you, and a lot of people will say, like, mix things about it. Um, one of the ones I can definitely say is I'm not entirely fascinated by the whole approach because of the controversies that it's been bringing as of late. Mm. And the people have given it valid reasons for it to be playable, which I'm okay with, but... Respectfully, I'm... I'm not a huge, huge fan of it. Mm. I'm okay with, like, if someone wanted me to, like, Hey, have you played this before? Or, hey, do you know what to do with this and that? Or, hey, have you played this? And I'm like, yeah, Jexo, you're right. It's like a cross, it's like a cross between Oak and Pokemon. That's why. It's not just that, though. The reason why I'm a little hesitant in play uh, on con giving it um on giving it a chance is um there's just something about it that feels off. Yeah, like the most like the biggest controversies people have been saying is it uses AI, but there hasn't been any evidence of that or what's been shown so far. There's been like theories on what people have said, but. I don't believe it to be true. Oh crap, baskets. Oh! Welcome back, Jay! Hey, I'm back again! Welcome back! How are welcome you, back! <laughs> it was a long walk, but, like, I just needed to sit down and relax for a bit. That's fair. Did you take, did you take Daisy on a walk? Yeah, I did. Took her to the park. Okay. How is Daisy doing? She's just sitting here with me. Can I see that Daisy? <laughs> uh, she's on my... Uh, I'm on my PC right now, so Aww. that's a negative. Damn. I always like to see Daisy. I just sometimes wish I could have my doggo around here, but because I'm in uni dorms, you're not allowed to have pets. Okay, so I think I managed to do it when it comes to this back pose. Let's make a comparison. Um, I'm turning that back onto its opacity. Run. So where's the high, high? Oh no. Oh god damn it! I killed the eye highlight and ah. Gilbert. Gilbert. You know. Gilbert. That's Gilbert. Okay. <laughs> That's on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and just fix that again. Oh, fiddlesticks. Oh my lord, an idea has just popped into my head. Oh, Daisy, you're giving me kisses. You're giving me kisses, girl. <laughs> oh, crap, baskets. Okay. A really bad idea has just popped into my head. <laughs> Huh? You tell. You need to have an emote where it's like people from the inn just saying Gubo. <laughs> so chat can say it as well too. Of course. Or maybe would. it's just like the, or maybe it's just like the gremlin as a peanut. <laughs> so yes. the goober thing becomes literal. <laughs> yes. No, I d come on you guys. Really? Yes. <laughs> Although the other one it would be like, funny. It would. The other one is kind of like a weird idea for um, the innkeeper themselves. Like, um, you have people, like, it's like the angel of devil on your shoulder. 
type situation, except just like, like a multitude of people on your shoulders. Okay, so let's see. There we go. I think I... Okay, I think I did it for the eye highlights. So, um... Okay, so front, back, front, back, front, back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Nice. Okay, so this does look good. This does, this, this does really look good. Okay, so... All right, on to the final touches. Okay, so... Now, we're gonna go ahead and stretch out that canvas. And giving you a stretch, too. Okay, about, um... Let's try 42, 800. Okay, let me go do the stretch and... Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. That's not too bad. Hmm? Oh, yeah, since you're working on... Since you're working on character design, I actually finished the designs for um, the game jam I'm working on. Would you like to see them? Um, Ooh. sure. Just drop them there and I'll give it a look later. Okay, I'll put in the TV chat. Nice. Oh crap, baskets. Okay, slowly move her right here. And, um, just a little bit to there. Bring out the dynamic pose. I'll work on that plaid skirt a little bit later, but until then, um, I may have to, um, oh crap, baskets. Okay, come on. Okay, and, n n not the front pose, not the front pose, this one. Yes, you. You go over here. There we go. There we go. Um. No, I move a little bit back. A, a little bit backwards. A little bit backwards. Okay. Um. Jay to the jar, reason not enough puns today. Sorry, Jay, chat, chat has spoken. But, but I haven't made that many puns today. Any no, but I don't think words? you even made any puns today. Yeah, I, d I didn't make any puns. There you go. What the frick? What the frick, chat? Who did that? <laughs> One of these characters looks very familiar. put her, um, there we go, okay, just enough so I can actually put in a palette, um, the color swatch right next to the dynamic pose, yep, okay, so, okay, and first things first, hmm, honey, mm. ow, I, I heard that echo on, on my end over here, so. yeah. They're taking you. So. Uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. But how are you? I'm doing all right. Oh, I got punished for not enough puns today. This shall be your punishment. <laughs> Literally. Heh. <laughs> okay, so now let's make that color swatch big enough so I can actually... There we go. Okay, got it. Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What happens when you give a young cow everything it wants? What? You get spoiled milk. 
I was about to fucking say. <laughs> okay, now for eyes. Okay. Okay, little more, little more. Sm okay, perfect. Little more, little more. Okay, perfect. Hmm. These are a nice band of characters. Hmm? Oh, um, the ones that Jay popped in. Oh. Yeah, it's for the game jam I'm doing. A little more, a little more. Okay. That lizard looks very familiar. Okay. Wait, what looks I think, familiar? I think it's just this robotic arm, but that's it. Kind of oh. like the body type. It reminds me a bit of Treasure Planet. Well, congrats, you guessed the reference. Hmm. No. Is that the reference you were going for? Yes. Like it. Oh, that is a is. I love that. I I kind of want to see this t the TV. I want to see the show. Again. I want to see the movie again. Yeah, I mean, I would love to watch the movie again too. Oh no, that's too small. I think with this color swatch, it should be just right, so that way, um, big enough, so that way, um, future artists would actually see this in proper. And let's see, leggings and shoes. The skirt will actually have its own color swatch. Normally, when it comes to character design, you have to look, you have to have like um, the right amount of colors so that way they don't actually um, make your, uh, so that way they don't actually overcrowd your um, character design. You're gonna have to have a limit of, um, you're gonna have to need to make a, you gotta have to have yourself a limit of either 10 to 12 colors per character. Otherwise, if you actually use way too many colors into your character, you're gonna end up having to face a conundrum where it's gonna be hard to co um, hard color coordination and well, you will also make artists. Uh, you will also make fan artists have a hard time. Uh, please don't. Um, please don't give your artists a hard time. Okay. Wait, sorry. I oh, sorry. I phased out. What were we talking about? Um, I'm I'm talking about uh, I'm I'm talking about um color design, if you will. Oh, right. Okay, so... There we go. Because, um... When it comes to... Because, um, I, I, I said this once and I'll say this again. When it comes to designing characters, keep it, keep a color palette, keep the palette, um, in a certain limited colors. About 10 to 12 colors might do for a character, if you will. That's a challenge for my, that's my challenge for you today, chat, if you want to do some character designing. Thoughts, questions, death threats? I mean, it makes sense on paper. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh. All right. Sorry, my... Sorry, my brain is just... Bleh. I, um... That's okay, though, you know? I got mm. really overstimulated at work, so I'm just glad to be out of there. That's okay. That, that, that's, uh, that's okay. Mm. We can give you a hard time by making you flustered or by making comments that make you react funny in a way. Ha! Ah, of course you would, boy Splatty. Of course you would. Yes. Uh -huh. It's quite funny. Oh, I wish. I have 
But all of my characters have no colors. Never got that far to color them and probably won't after uh, at all. You know, that's okay, you know? Here's the thing. You, you can only you can put in the the kind of effort that you that uh you want with your characters. Mhm. Mm okay, so I think that should be enough room. All right. Okay, so time for me to actually work on the description that my client has provided me. Usually when it comes to uh, my ref reference sheets commissions, um, it'll be like a front, back, a front, back, and dynamic pose, but also, and, and, a, and a color swatch. But sometimes you will actually have some that would, um, but sometimes you would have those that, um, that, that would actually help uh, add in some information in there too. Hmm. Okay. There we go, um, there we go. So let me go ahead and actually type out the info right down there. Okay, um, um, I think I'll use a nice shade of blue for your um, information there. Uh, no, 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 not, not that. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Okay. That's a lot. There's a lot to unpack there. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. I forgot to change the um the text uh, formatting. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. This can be fixed. This can be fixed. This will be fixed. Okay. No. 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 Okay. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, hold on a second, chat. Ho hold on a second. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, why is my... Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Don't you just love it when the text does that? No, I mean, it, g give me a second. G give me a second. Wait. <sighs> okay, there well, we go. I'm gonna start taking my leave now for the evening. Um, sure. Right. sure. Um, sure. You take care now. You all have a wonderful Thursday, or Friday, depending on where you are. Thursday for me, but tomorrow's my day off, so I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, um... Occupation. Oh, good night, then. Caesar out. Good night. Hmm. Lose a deer, get a cat. I can't eat a cat. Too bad for you. Um, let's see. Occupation, university student, part-time bartender, part-time stage magician, part-time stage magician, according to the profile that my client has gave me. That's the only information she, um, the client has gave me, so... I'm gonna try to make this thing work. Come hell or high water. I fudge with color designs anyways, but since I retired, I don't need to worry about that at all. Well, mm -hmm. fair enough, I suppose. Okay. Maybe I'll try to put that up there and I'll put the color swatch down below it. Increase the the line art for the uh, color swatch. Okay. And uh, let me go ahead and Move all of those poses to a little more to the okay, no. There we go. There we go. Okay. 
just a little bit more to the side. Because I'm trying to make sure this works out properly. Mm. Okay. I guess the rest, whatever that comes my, my, comes my way, though, they're gonna have to be fixed up, um, fixed up offline, because mm -hmm. the skirt is slightly still bothering me. But I, I can In make this thing work. Um, more like I'm trying, more like the plate is actually not working with me. So I'll have to do Wait, that. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you, you just say it as played? Why? I thought it was plaid. Oh no. Goober. No, hey, I did I, I remember that's what I no, mm. hey. hey. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We can we can look this up. Okay, and let's make the Okay, it is plaid. Well shit. Okay. Listen, this stuff happens. Okay, so there we go. And let's go ahead and make the... Okay, yeah, no, it's blending in with the text, so let's lighten that up. Okay, just a smidge more. Just a smidge more. Okay, okay. All right, Th there we go. Hmm. So, part-time bartender and stage magician? Yeah, that's what my that's what the description my client has given me. I'm I, I, I'm not going to question it. I'm just doing what my client has told me. All right. I mean, I've seen weirder. Fair. This is pretty tame by comparison. It it kind of does, isn't it? Okay, hold on. Let's move those again. A little more to this. Just a little more. A little more. Just a... Oh, no. No, no. Clip, 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 clip. Please clip. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. Say, I, I, I'm... I'm Clip, clip. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Save now. I'm Save doing, I'm doing now. It. I'm done. Honey, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hang Quick. on. Good. Good. Hmm. Okay. 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 It's going through. It's going through. It's going. Okay. There we go. We yes. saved. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. I. I think this is I think this is a sign that I definitely need to get my uh, get that new computer soon. Because with big files yeah. like this in Clip Studio Paint and if they actually um jitter like that, I I, I can't help but feel concerned. Understandable. I mean I sent a message to my cousin, she's not yet to reply. Mm. Okay. <sighs> So, let's see. Okay, maybe if I just... Oh, Jack, so, have you been... Have you been watching Mashal? Like, Magic and Muscles? Huh? Oh, there's this, uh... There's this anime I've been watching recently. Um, it's basically Hogwarts, but the, but the main character can't use magic, and he's a bodybuilder. Oh! Imagine if it's Saitama with Mob's personality going to Hogwarts. <laughs> and okay. he's obsessed with cream puffs. I suddenly want to give this thing a try now. It's very funny. And the first season's only like 12 episodes. So it's very, uh, it's very easy to digest. And uh, season two is coming out this year. Ah! Okay, so there we go. I think we actually did well with this with this reference sheet. What do you think? Correct. Huh? 
Okay. Eat. Okay. I, I, I think we actually did well with this. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay. Oh, my spine pops. Ugh. So, we actually did it. We actually fi finished up this reference sheet for today. There's going to be some little bits of here and there that's going to be... Um, that's most likely going to be tweaked later down the line offline, but that's a me problem to t handle. For now, I am now done for the day. I'm going to go and see... Oh, I know exactly who we're going to go and raid. It's Ellie's um, re-debut today, so why don't we actually go and do that? Okay. <laughs> Yoink! Ah! Hey! Ow! Sorry. Of course you would. Okay, so there we go, and here's the message. So, we're, make sure you guys copy that. And now, let me go ahead, let us go ahead and, um, okay, oh, oops, so. oops, sorry, sorry. And, um, let's go ahead and raid Ellie. She's gonna be out this mm. for, um, she's gonna be like this for uh, until 11 o'clock, uh, until 11 midnight, so, yeah. I do appreciate that you guys came by here today watching me draw and actually finishing up this commission. Tomorrow we're going to be actually go back into um, the madness that is Warframe and see how we're actually going to um, finish up when it comes to quests over there. I'm hoping I was able, I'm able to finish a quest or two because I really can't wait to get myself into um, think, the thick of it when it comes to new war. But until then, mm -hmm. this is where I'm going to go. May y'all have a good night. May y'all eat well and rest well. And I'll see you guys next time at the Paper Plane Inn. Take care! Take care.